All right, guys, so uh, you guys tend to like it when I film back here. It's not that often that I do it, but still, I think the light isn't balanced because there's three huge windows here, and then there is... I put a box light here to try and balance it out. I still don't think it's doing a very good job, but let's just give it a go. I am wearing a shirt. Okay, so this is gonna be the most random spotlight and sharing of things. I'm just testing this lighting out right now. So but I was on TikTok, and I rediscovered this Mally poreless face defender. Do you guys remember this? I had one of these. I think a lot of us had one of these. Uh, it's actually kind of amazing. <laughs> I don't know why we stopped using it. Now, she hasn't updated her packaging, I don't think, since the launch of this project product, which is a long time ago. There needs to be some way to include a sponge. You do, they give you a big sponge with it, but it's like a big bulky sponge that comes with it with no place to put it. There's even a travel size version, but that still doesn't it's still not travel friendly. It's not easy to pop in your purse. So for me, I really like this with one of these little sponges. These are off Amazon. I think I got like 25 for like a good price, like 10 bucks. There's a whole bunch of colors. So I have purchased like really thin powder puffs that you can apply your powder with. But for something like this, this is like a little finger puff. You can use this with powder and just but this with this is like absolute perfection. Some people, I feel like they don't understand like that you're not supposed to see something. So let me see if we can even see a difference on camera. Probably not here. On TikTok, you know, with lighting and everything, you can see so much more. But sometimes on days when I like don't want to use powder, I'll set my under eye with this stuff. There is a bit of a learning curve, as in like, not that I can teach you anything, but you need to figure out how much powder, what kind of powder, where you can really use this. But it will look really, 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 really pretty. Okay, next, I put in an order with Beauty Pie. It has been a while, but let me share the things that I grabbed. The Super Healthy Hair Repair Treatment. Uh, when described, it seems similar to the Olaplex that we leave in our hair, but Olaplex is something where I might come home from work and I know I'm gonna wash my hair that night, so I'll have it in my hair for like four or five hours before I wash my hair. To me, or that's something like sometimes if you go to the gym or the pool, wherever you're going, you can like leave it in your hair to wash out later. This is something where after you shampoo and you condition, then you leave this on your hair after. It's like a post-conditioner treatment. And when you wash it out, how long does it say to keep it in for? Three to five minutes. I love this. This is a second bottle. I have one open one in the shower and I'm a big fan of this. I don't know if it's repairing my hair or anything, but my hair does feel amazing afterwards. So, you know, recommend this. Okay, next up I picked up their concealer brush. You've probably seen a lot of these. These have been pretty popular in the past couple years. Pat McGrath released something similar. Fenty Beauty has one. I think, no, Rare Beauty has one. Uh, Zoeva did one. I didn't really like the Zoeva one. That one was like really dense and so was the Pat McGrath. I really like the Rare Beauty one and this is kind of similar to that. It's kind of like, it's like not as dense. There's a little more, a little more malleability. It's one of these brushes where it's like, oh, is it kind of in between a concealer and a foundation brush? Maybe, but you can also use it for contour. And I like that it's just like, it's just that like, it gives just enough where when you're pressing your concealer in, it looks really good. You can also use it to apply a sh eyeshadow base. Uh, I like this brush. It is a little like weighty, like not extremely, but more so than what I really want, I don't know. I'm, it's hard to weight your brushes, I think, because everyone might have a different preference. Everyone holds their brushes differently. But nonetheless, this is a good brush. I have the Chi Energy Double Cleansing Ginseng Micellar Water. I haven't used this yet. As much as I love my Kagendo, and I really realize that there's not many that are going to live up to that for me. Like that to me is like a, it's an absolute holy grail. I've repurchased it so many times. But I'm always interested in trying other ones. Not as much as I used to, but this one really caught my eye because I really like a lot of Beauty Pie skincare. And the Kagendo, I mean, it's expensive. I can afford it, but do I really want to every time I purchase it? Not necessarily. And we have the Happy Face, the Extreme Relief Sicka Moisture Cream. Uh, after I had damaged my skin barrier, probably a few months ago, and then Whenever I have sensitivity and I have texture, anything with the Sika in it, Sika, Sika, how are we saying Sika? I think Sika. Uh, I was, I didn't realize that Beauty Pie did one, so I grabbed the, their version of it. So I'm pretty excited. Suitable for dry, sensitive skin, rosacea prone skin. 
gonna come in handy in the winter because in the winter we naturally have more redness now oh and of course we got another of the japan fusion m3 this i have like sometimes when i really really love something i keep the empties like if you ever saw like my kagendo like cleansing like water all of my empties i have like five or six of these like i go through these uh winter perfect amazing similar to tatcha but i can't really pick out which moisturizer in the tatcha line that i think it's most similar to i still think it kind of stands on its own i think it's more of like a inspired by japanese skincare I, I can't find that there's like a particular specific dupe of their moisturizers and i've tried i think all of theirs this is such a good find Ugh, i can't remember the price so beauty pie will sell their sponges like a two pack i think for 10 bucks and those are really good i've pur purchased like them twice but this is like a whole pack of multiple sizes so this is their normal size the ones i'm using on my vanity right now is like this size they're so 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 good i highly recommend uh just you get i think you get 10 sponges so five of the regular size and five of like that slightly smaller size these are so good, highly recommend. So continuing on with really random things, the Target bag here. So I dyed my hair last night or the night before. So we've switched over to the L'Oreal Feria M26. I think I showed you guys the first time I had dyed it and then because it was the day after you couldn't really tell, but I think um, from some comments in more recent videos that you guys can start seeing more of that purple yeah, and a lot less red. So I'm kind of into that right now. I just kind of wanted to go a little darker and like more purple and less red. Even though the V38 was really pretty and I would always get a lot of compliments. I think, you know, just changing it up ever so slightly. What else? Oh, <laughs> this was kind of a mistake. Not a mistake. I go through these like every couple months. I thought I had none left, which made no sense because whenever it's like on sale or a good price, I'll like add it on to my orders. But apparently I forgot that I had three three tubes and I was like needing this so badly for whatever reason. Like the one on my vanity, I was just like scraping through it. I don't know what kind of like weird timeline I was in. But yeah, this is like my absolute favorite. So now I have another backup. It was $2 off though, so that was good. Paula's Choice sent over this hat, which I'm not a hat person, but hats do look pretty good on me. This is not a really good representation. Um, it says, no hype, which I kind of like. It's kind of cool. Okay, we've made it bigger. Let's see if it looks good. <laughs> Sorry, Paula. Okay, anyway, but this came. It's the niacinamide for every body. And it's a 5% niacinamide body serum, so excited. As well as a 20% for the face. Ooh, niacinamide hot product right now, so I'm really excited. Um, both so of these, for both of your body parts, is going to help with texture for sure. What else do we say? Reduces signs of aging, yes. But mostly texture, pores bumpy skin i am very excited to try this more so even in the winter because in the summer and spring once i'm not wearing like long sleeves my skin just becomes the softest it's ever been which is what i love i'm not saying my skin is like super soft but i'm saying like it's it's pretty soft i have been 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 touched and been asked in fact one guy asked me this is maybe TMI. He was like, do you nair your whole body? And I was like, first of all, I like grimace because they have, you guys remember nair? Okay, my only recollection of nair is when I was in grade school, like middle school, high school, and I had some hair. I really don't have that much hair on my body to begin with, but because I had surgery when I was really young, when they took the cast off there was just this overgrowth of hair and then of course i started shaving that one leg but then i just started shaving both legs and realizing i don't really like shaving and i was like oh nair the smell of that is so a core memory <laughs> for me like in my childhood home in the bathtub and it's just such a strong scent that and the sally hansen um mustache bleaching do, do you guys do this this is just me and then like witch hazel like every day um where were we going with this top? Oh yes, these products. So yeah, uh, yeah. And no, I don't near my whole body. It's just like 
it's genetic it's like natural my mom has the most amazing like body skin and like genetically i think all four of us got her skin type which is great because i think on my dad's side it's like poor city so <laughs> we got lucky so yeah skincare i'm really excited especially for the body one yes okay so lastly in this little sharing i want to tell you about dia Dorga. i picked up a candle because it said fireplace in it so of course i was like "Ooh, let me try it but it was in fact too strong for me i think but the free gift with it was like three samples of their scents and i'm really into scent right now uh i know that like in the beauty community we kind of went from makeup makeup lasted a really long time that era was very 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 long and then it became like pandemic times it became all about skincare like skincare just took off like crazy and in the midst of that i think we also went into like candles and fragrance and i'm that's where i'm at right now i think i had my candle phase last year yeah, for, for sure, last year with my candle phase. And then from there, I was already starting to try out a lot more scents. And I've heard about this scent. It's called I Don't Know What. And at first, when I saw the name of the the brand, DS and Durga, I was like, okay, it's definitely Indian something. So both of the guys are Indian. So if you look at a lot of their scents, they are inspired by Indian fragrances and smells. So when I opened the package, all I smelled was this. And it just was like... It reminds me of my ex-husband like so much and living in India and just all of that time frame it just like rushed back like really intensely I'd probably not be able to talk about this like you know if it was like years and years and years ago but now when I'm like this is just so like I don't know how to explain it to you so it does I doesn't have ISO in it it might but it just smells like really fresh and grassy in a way that I would not think I would like because it has like almost very slightly a Santal 33 vibe where I'm like, mm, it's a little grassy. But the way the other scents in here, I, it's supposed to be like really light, but I think it's just, it's not, it's like, it's an addictive smell for me. I, I really, should, I'm gonna, I'll put the notes in the description because I cannot tell you, but like this really takes me back. On top of that, my ex had a huge cologne collection i don't even know what it looks like now maybe he's not into it anymore but when we were dating in college he just had this like shelf of cologne and at the time i was like you know i probably had like two or three cents probably body sprays probably like who knows bath and body works Victoria's Secret. you don't know whatever that's you know who we were but he had tons of scents and now now i appreciate him having that like passion but like now what, whatever anyway this will really just like take you back to, to, to places, at least for me. I get, this is why they call it I don't know what, because it's really hard to explain the smell. And for me, because it unlocks memories, it's really weird. It's like, I don't want to smell this way, but if my whole house smelled this way, I would not be against it. It's kind of citrusy and fresh and light, but then also there's a depth to it. But that could just be me anyway we really went on i feel like i shared so much stuff with you guys today like random sharing of like memories anyway so moving on okay went to the chinese grocery i got three bags of this dried fish snack two of these scallion pancakes uh grab one of these my mom focus Said that this is really good i'm gonna try it maybe we'll pan fry it have it with some rice three old town coffee but with sugar cane and not normal sugar which either way um three bags baby lotus root i went to a restaurant once and they did an entire salad based around this it was so good i love all lotus root lotus root chips lotus root in soup lotus root anyway i saw someone that does like deep fried lotus root i mean oh my god but these are like you know baby baby lotus but i'm gonna add this to like my cucumber salads that i do y'all this was like eight dollars okay this jar this is a product of thailand there was another one that was product of vietnam it was like slightly cheaper maybe it was like six or seven bucks but like so expensive i mean everything right now but yeah like a mini mini grocery haul all right guys let's quickly do a little yes style haul it's like a combination of two hauls mini hauls in the past I don't know how many months, basically the last time we did one of these. So first we have some skincare. There's like 10, 12 SPFs that are just 
constantly being talked about on TikTok, K-Beauty wise. This is the Perito one, the daily go-to sunscreen. I had a little sample packet of this and I really, I don't know why I'm standing on my tippy toes. Um, I always do this and I, I feel like it's because I'm around tall people a lot and I'm always like, I, I do this weird thing and sometimes they notice and they're like, what? I'm like, whatever. I just feel like I'm not on the same level. Anyway, this is good. Very glowy. Uh, this is the bottle. I want to try the Isn't Tree. I want to try. I still haven't gotten the Beauty of Josen because it's like, sold out a lot. Um, I have so many sunscreens that I love now and wearing it every day absolutely changes your skin. I want to say in this year, like 2022, I've worn sunscreen like every day pretty much if I'm outside, even if I'm inside. Um, sometimes I take, you know, days off where you just kind of let your skin kind of be or you put a treatment on for that day. But I really like this. There's so many good ones. At some point, we will do kind of a roundup of, of favorite sunscreens. My daily go-to is the Black Girl sunscreen, though. So I have that on today. I just, I think it's so, it's just so easy to wear. I don't know why I love it so much, because it just feels like a moisturizer. Anyway, that's not about, that's not about that at all. From the brand Perito. Also, I have the C. Buckthorn Vital 70 Cream. C. Buckthorn is not an ingredient I don't think I've ever used before, so I am excited to try this. This probably won't even be used until, well, depending on how hydrating it is. Um, I do know it's brightening, but if it's more of like a summer-spring thing, maybe we'll save it. I have some new other things I picked up from like TJ Maxx, from Apu that I'm using that I like. There's two like creams that I'm trying out. Um, the next thing, oh, is this kit. It's from Some By Me, and it's the Super Matcha Pore Care Starter Kit. So at some point, Yes Style, like, or I chose to review the Super Matcha Pore Tightening Serum, which is so good. I have it on today, especially for summer times. I've been putting it in my T-zone to make my pores look better, to also kind of slightly mattify. It doesn't mattify on contact. It's not a product like that, but it looks so good and over the course of the day i just noticed i get a lot less oil breakthrough so i really like this if you have oily skin or maybe you have combo i would recommend this kind of almost as a primer type ingredient um, although i do put it on before i put on any moisturizer spf but you can use it either way i've used it kind of like to top off after my skincare as well so because of that i wanted to get a kit that showcases the whole line plus I would have like a little mini of this for travel. So in this kit, you have a cleansing gel, the toner, the serum, and the clean clay mask. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm gonna do that mask very quickly. Actually, this is the sample of the brightening serum, which is this ingredient. So it's just nice to have something for travel. Uh, this is larger, and of course I can decant this, but sometimes when you decant things, you come back and you're like, what is that? And I'm not a big, I don't label a lot of my travel skincare, which I probably should. I actually bought a little label maker, so maybe that'll make me better. Because then I come back and I have unidentified bottles of stuff that I've unpacked. And sometimes I'm like opening it, sniffing it. And I'm like, what is this actually? So I'm excited. Like this whole line is so good. From Some By Me, we also grabbed the AHA, BHA, PHA Spot All Kill Cream. Uh, I go back and forth between like do i love k-beauty do i like the western skincare because i do like my aha bha retinol type products but i feel like when i go more into k-beauty products my skin looks better it doesn't have like that sensitive kind of like redness sometimes Ugh, i don't i know obviously i can use both but i feel like when i do all k-beauty i like it way more so um, I'm trying to find more potent or like potent for K-Beauty skincare or J-Beauty that is a little more, has more oomph behind it. So this that has AHA, BHA, I'm excited to try this. It's like a spot treatment, so we'll see how that goes. I do have the uh, Pew Glycolic Acid Cream that I've been using every other night lately and I really like that as well. Uh, this is the I Do Care 5 Day Sheet Mask. Actually, this is not... Um, I didn't buy this from YesStyle. This was sent to me from probably I Do Care. So, like I've mentioned before, I don't do sheet masks, or I don't buy sheet masks per se, but whenever they're sent to me or they're included somewhere, then I would be totally into using them. I'm just really trying to decrease the amount of disposable things, right? So, pore tightening is this one. We have a lime mask, firming acai berry, nourishing olive. Ooh, need that. 
de-stressing mugwort. So there's some for sensitive skin in here, some for just moisture. So I'm a big fan of all of the ingredients here. Lastly for skin, I have this, okay guys, I'm super into like gua sha, lymphatic drainage for the face, for the body, everything. So I saw this one, it's by Wellderma. And it is a little heavier because it is stainless steel. And I've, I've thought about looking at the ones that have these balls, but I really never kind of went for it. But this was, I think, a really decent price to have all of these different shapes. And I traveled with it and I like it. But again, it is kind of heavier and I know you can't do anything about that. But I love this because this area and this area are great for the neck. And then you have all these different kind of things where you can like get it into the crevices the way you would want to kind of sculpt your face. And then this is absolutely amazing. I did not think that these would work. I don't know what I thought. Maybe I thought the shape of my face or this, it wouldn't go, but obviously so many gua sha type products have this and I love it. So there's, when I get to this area, I'll go upwards, right? Like not right under my eye, but I'll kind of go upwards once I kind of hit this area. But then when I get to the eye area, I'll like flip to this ball and I go in this direction. I know some people or a lot of people like pushing towards this way and draining down, but I like doing it like this. So we go in this motion, we get pretty close to the eye because there's a drainage point here. You can kind of like drag it down, you can drag it like down here and then, you know, like, I don't know. That's just what I've really been liking. So I would recommend this to you because it's kind of like an all-in-one and it's like large enough in a way where you can use it on your body. If you don't use your gua sha on your body, you're missing out. It feels so nice. I keep one like on my coffee table. So like when I'm watching TV or something, you can kind of go to town. It feels so good. We hold so much tension in certain parts of our body and it just, it feels so good. Sometimes I'll even do it in the shower. I'm just a big fan. <laughs> Makeup-y things. Uh, so I originally picked up this Mood Petal Polish from Romand and then I picked up the other three shades I was interested in. So we have a pink, a black, and a purple. They're just so pretty. They just look like glass on your nails. It's oh, my favorite. The next item was sent to me, or like I chose to review this, and it's from McQueen. And when I first tried it out, I was like, I don't like this. So I just took the applicator and I went like this. And I was like, I don't like that. I don't know why, but I just, I didn't like it. And then I, today when I used it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna give it a bad review because I don't really like it. But the applicator is flat on the bottom. So what you really need to be doing, maybe it won't show on camera, is you press it. It's like how you would press a product like this with your finger, but because the, it's perfect. So now, now I like it. So there's the swiping action. But then there is when you press it on. So when you press it on with the flat bottom, you get so much more of like a look. So I have it on the lids today. I don't know if you're gonna see, cause, um, today is a work day, so I wasn't trying to like have like a very pigmented glitter on it, uh, but I do have it on the lid and I brushed it right at my lash line and then filled in the lower part with a darker shadow. And I think it looks really pretty. So. You can really amp this up or it can be, you know, day, day slash work appropriate. So it's funny because usually, I don't think this has ever happened. Usually when I try out a product, I'm, I'm pretty sure about how I feel about it. Like, mm. but this randomly about to give a bad review and I like it. I in fact like it. This is a nose contour brush from Etude House. And if you look on like Yes Style or any kind of K-beauty type website, there's a lot of nose contour brushes and nose contour products. I thought... Okay, I'll try it out. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. For whatever reason, I've had this for maybe maybe more than a couple months. I use it daily. <laughs> Every time I'm doing nose contour with a powder, I always use this. It's just like, in my mind, is it because it's made for nose contour and that's why I reach for it, or is it actually really good? But I think the reaching for it every day really makes it a really good contour brush for your nose. So that's why I've been using it. and. It's kind of fluffy, so you know, sometimes I'll use it here, sometimes we'll use it just to add a little over there. It's beautiful. It's nice, it's fluffy, it's just it's just a really good nose contour brush and you would probably make a really, really great blending brush for your eye makeup as well. I have not used it there. This next product is from 3CE, Style Nanda. It's a super slim eyeliner pen. It's very mini, 
but what I did not know when I purchased it is it is the kind that stains. So I love products like this. I love the brow products that do that as well. So I use this to draw in lashes, which is one of my favorite ways to use very small, tiny, tiny eyeliners. But also this area, uh, things can fade if you don't, you know, set it properly or if you cry or like if it's like you sweat a little. So this is so good. This side looks really good. This side, I'm like tearing a little bit here. You can probably see. So it's like, it's already fading because I'm tearing. Or I don't even think it grabbed on initially. Anyway, right. We love this. 3CE is like a K-beauty brand that I think is a little like mid-tier to like more expensive. So I don't buy a lot of their products, even though I should because they're really, really good. This, amazing. This, I repurchased. Um... Like, I already have another one waiting in the wings because I love it so much, and it's their face palette, face contouring palette, and it's in the shade Tawny. They also have one for cooler toned skin, but this powder is so good. These two products, I mean, clearly I really love this as a bronzer slash contour, but love that. But two lip products. One is from 3CE Style Nanda. It's the Plumping Lips in the shade Coral. It's what I have on the lips today. This is the kind of like Makeup by Mario Lip Serum Glow, whatever that's called. It's that exact vibe. So if you like that product, check out this line. There might be colors that you haven't seen yet. Why did my mouth do that? Uh, I like it. I have it on. I have a little lip liner on from Patrick Ta on, but this beautiful my kind of lip product so i also had hopes for this in the same way this is by this is by clio clio is also one of those brands where i feel like it's a little pricier kind of in the same range as 3ce but there's a lot of good products like eyeliners their kill cushion that is that the one that's super pigmented one really really good this is a lip product i don't care i don't know what it's called the melting lip sheer maybe and i have mine in the shade 03 so we really like the component. It's very, very pretty. It's a slim lipstick. I thought I would like this so much more, but I I don't like it that much. <laughs> it's, it's very smooth. It's smooth, but it also tugs a little. So I definitely have to have some kind of balm or gloss on my lips already, and then I put this on top, which, eh, not my favorite way to apply a lip product. Let me do a swatch of this one so you can see. So there's the coral from 3CE. Uh, I obviously have it on a little lighter. We tapped it in, but it, you can go really bold, like peachy orange, or you can kind of tone it down like this, and then we go pat, pat, pat. I like it a lot. Oh, and lastly is kind of a, a tool component. So I have loose powders that I really love. I love my Decorte. I love my Cogendo. I really like Japanese powders, I think. Loose powders. And then my Makeup Forever HD. So sometimes whatever one I'm using the most, depending on how the packaging is, it's inconvenient. Like I'll basically leave the lid off and like there's a puff and there's all this. So when I saw this, I was like, I want this. So this is just a jar and it has a net. Okay. And this netting is always what I kind of prefer in loose powders. But this netting, you can see if I press it, it hits the bottom. So you, sometimes when you have like those netted type products, they do a good job until you get kind of like halfway to the powder and then you can't, you can't get to it anymore. But this, you can go all the way down. Guys, this is amazing. Probably going to have to get like a couple more. Like I would just decant all of my powders into here. Not into this one, separate ones. Today's blush is also actually a K-Beauty blush. It's the Hello Kitty Kathy doll one um choco apricot uh i had to like i like over apply so i had to go through with a another powder but yeah i use the nyx that like concealer in the pink bottle for foundation today i think it looks so good oh, why am i tearing here i have no idea you guys see that anyway right so on to the next clip Okay, let's start doing OOTDs. I, I have this mirror here. Okay, so pants, I think they're Boohoo. They're from like five years ago. They're like beach pants, so they have like a tie waist. Um, we have, okay, I keep saying Sorrel. Is it Sorrel? Anyway, we have these. This is a work outfit. This is Jane and Delancey, TJ Maxx Marshalls. If you see this brand of shirt, just grab it. It is 
They're all so comfy. Okay, that looks like I have like an animal. They're so comfy. The fabric is so nice. Um, this is a small. I have it, you know, rolled up a little bit. We have it untucked, you know. Glasses are Mew Mew. They don't make them anymore. But they're my favorite. I also have them in red and in blue. I wish they would just bring this back. I would buy like 10 pairs. Necklace, bobble bar. We have this in silver, gold, and rose gold. We wear them pretty often when we wear jewelry, which is not that often actually. But yeah. Here's a work outfit, hope you like it.